Hey everybody, it's Kat from How to Draw Cool Stuff, and today I want to show you a shading technique using oil pastel that is based off of a famous pop artist, Wayne Tybot. He would draw cakes and pastries and candies using a technique called halation. A halation is something he perfected, if not invented, where an opposite color would be rimmed around the shadow to make it really pop out. I'm going to show you how to do that. One of his famous paintings that he did was of cupcakes. So with my students, I like to take a little cupcake template and have them trace it or draw it onto a gray piece of paper and then start to color it in. So I'm just gonna quickly sketch out a little cupcake shape, make sure the bottom is rounded, not flat. Same thing here, make sure it's rounded to make it look like it's got three dimension as opposed to two dimension. And then once you have that, we can just start coloring it in. Um, I like to take a little bit of brown for the wrapper. This is gonna be a vanilla cupcake with pinkish frosting. So I'm just gonna make some lines here, some real quick lines, a little bit of yellow. These are Junior Artist Crepas, which is an oil pastel and they're really, really nice when they blend together. So I'm just gonna draw over my lines and as you can see they're blending a little bit and making this really nice creamy color. So I always think the more different colors that you use when you're drawing, the more interesting it becomes. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a little bit of white. This is gonna be my side that's not in shadow. So it'll be a, bit, a little bit lighter on this side. And this isn't anything that really needs to have a lot of time spent on it. It can be done somewhat quickly. The nature of these thick, chunky pastels somewhat forces you to be less detailed. I'm gonna go in and add a little bit of frosting. Again, overlapping a little bit, just so you get that nice blend. If you don't overlap, it doesn't look as smooth and nice. Maybe I'll use a little peach in here too. Go back with my pink, I think I need a little bit more. And some white for the highlights where the light is hitting the cupcake. And once you have it all colored in, then you can start with the halation. The halation, remember, is using opposite colors. So this is an orangey brown. The opposite of orange on the color wheel would be blue. So I'm going to go around this with a little bit of blue. Maybe even throw in a little bit of green. The opposite of red on the color wheel is green. So I'll throw a little bit of this in there. Doesn't always have to be opposite, so I'm gonna just rim this up a little bit. But at least opposite on some of it makes it look like it has that halation, that really cool technique that we're trying today. So once you've got your cupcake done, you could go ahead and we're gonna cut it out. This can all be done on the same piece of paper too. I just like cutting it out so I can sometimes show depth and shadow with my students. We layer them on top of one another to show overlapping the distance of making it appear as if there's perspective involved. Ones that are lower on the page will appear closer to the viewer. The ones that are higher up on the page will appear far away. Even though they're the same size, it gives the illusion. So, once I have my cupcakes cut out, I'll get my final paper. And We'll glue them down. Got some other cupcakes here. Oh, I'm running out of space. Let's see, scoot that over a tiny bit. Tiny bit. Tiny bit. Place them where you like them, where they look good. And then we'll glue them down with your trusty glue stick. These I'm gonna line up, but like I said, you could have them staggered if you want to which would look kind of nice. I'm just gonna line these up Wayne Tybode style. 
I don't even know if I'm pronouncing his name right. All I've ever done is read it. I've never actually heard anybody say it aloud, so please forgive me if I am not pronouncing it correctly. T-H-I-E-B-A-U-D is the last name. So my glue stick is not picking these down to the best of its ability. So I would probably let that dry, put a book on top of it. But in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and throw down a little bit of a shadow. So a slight oval coming from each one to reinforce the fact that the light's coming from over here. This could be done in blue, purple. Oh, don't move. It could be done somewhat quickly. Stick, stick. Maybe I'll outline a little purple. Another outline for a halation on my shadow even. Could throw in a little bit of white around the edges. White is a good blender, but it does mute the color a little bit, as you can see. So I'm gonna go back in with my blue because I think I really want that to be somewhat intense and somewhat dark. And when I'm done with you guys, I'm gonna put a book on top of this so these stay nice and flat. Might even throw a little bit of green in there because these are cool colors. The shadows are usually cooler than the items themselves. Cool colors are greens, blues, sometimes purples, sometimes black, but we're avoiding using black here. Could put a tiny bit if you wanted to, just to show that there is a definition, but I would not use too, too much. And there you have it. There is the Wayne Tybode inspired artwork using oil pastel. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please tune in again soon for more how to draw and shade cool stuff with me.